Hi right, guys, today we are a few minutes away from the CBS Arena today for a massive game in the Championship. It's Coventry City versus Birmingham City. Obviously, as a Villa fan, it's a bit of a weird game to come to, but today it's a massive, massive game. Birmingham, even if they win their two remaining games of the Championship, the maximum place they can finish is 13th and they can't get relegated. So Birmingham really got nothing to play for this season. But Coventry, it's a huge, huge game. So Coventry currently sitting sixth place just inside the playoffs, uh, but they've also got Sunderland, Blackburn, Millwall, West Brom all on their tails. And if Coventry don't get a win today and one of them teams do get a result this weekend, Coventry can easily slip out the playoffs. Only two games remaining of the season and if Coventry do win today, they're, they're probably going to get playoffs in the end. So it's a big, big game. Coventry need the win. Birmingham haven't really got anything to play for, but it's a rivalry um, between the two fans. It is, it's a sellout here since so the CBS. So it's going to be a big game. It's going to be a good atmosphere. Obviously, I'm going to Man United tomorrow, Coventry today. Um, I probably want Coventry to win just because it's Birmingham. I don't really like Birmingham. Let's go in. Hopefully it's good atmosphere. Hopefully it's a good game. And come on, the Sky Blues, come on. So we're at the rugby club before the game, before the Coventry Birmingham game. I'm a little bit nervous walking around being a Villa fan because there's a lot of Cobb and Birmingham fans here, but I've got a lime and soda. And obviously last week I did a bit of rating of food in the Villa Stadium and if I'm rating this drink, it is poor. The lime and soda is, is, is flat, it's got no lime in, but we're here before the game. The atmosphere seems alright, so cool. I'm actually in the hospitality bit today for the game. It makes it sound a bit like a Tory, doesn't it? Chili peanuts out the football, absolute scram. That is an absolutely unreal, unreal food supply from the Legends Lounge. Unreal. Eight out of ten. Hey, Grampy today, Birmingham at home, big, big game for Coventry. What's going to happen? Well, we've got to, got to go out there today, give it our all. We've had a great season. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll get it out of the bag today. 2-0, I've been to the city. Yeah. Uh, that should get us into the playoffs, hopefully. Yeah. But we've had a great season, and uh, well, let's keep our fingers crossed. Yeah. What do you think, Nan? Um, yeah, of course we're going to get promoted. You're going to get That's promoted, yeah. Are we yeah. Going to, what's the score going to be today? 2-1. Uh, you know what? I know I'm a Villa fan, but I actually came to about five or six Coventry City games when I was younger before I went to any Villa, uh, any Villa game. So it is, it is quite nice coming back to the, the Rico, the Sky Blue Arena. It was the first, you know, football stadium that I probably ever went to. So um, yeah, any Coventry fans that don't like me here, I, I, I like Coventry. I've got, I've got a bit of a soft spot for you lot. <laughs> Manchester fans very loud today, obviously, it's a sellout in here. As the game is about to kick off. Big game in the championship. Here we go, massive game. The main man, Jokovic, played the first goal, ball in the box. I think that's hard. What, 30 goals, 20 goals, 25 goals, 30 goals in the championship. Jokovic, what's the player? Neymar! We've got all the animals about in the Birmingham end today. A penalty! The penalty for Coventry. 40 minutes into the game, Coventry have a chance to make it 2-0. The quality in this game's really died out. Coventry had a really, really bright start, scoring the early goal, but since then it's been a very scrappy game and it's not been great, but there's a chance to make it 2-0, so if it comes to 2-0, it's Coventry's to lose. I think some will also lose it, which is massive for Coventry, so could this be 2-0? It's not been the best first half, especially since that goal, but here we go. This could be big. This could be big. Your players as well, the main man, definitely Coventry's best player. And he's got a chance to make, what, 25 goals this season? There we go, the main man, the main man. Get that turn. Everywhere they go! I'll join him with that one. 
Half time, 2 0 to Coventry. I think it's a little bit unfair for Birmingham, to be honest. I don't think Coventry have been great. They started the game really well with a really early goal, and apart from that, it kind of died down the game and the quality within the game. Birmingham had a few chances in the last 10 minutes of that half, but Yoko is the main man for Coventry, holding the ball up really, really well, creating some really decent chances, and he's probably been, well, definitely been their best player. But right now, Coventry are 2 0 up. The handball for me did not look like a handball, but whatever, I'm sure Coventry fans don't care. And right now, Sunderland are losing, Coventry are winning, and right now Coventry are guaranteed playoffs no matter what happens right now if the results stay the same. Um, they're moving to fifth place right now. Also, a <sighs> bit interesting for Aston Villa. Brighton are 4 0 up, not good for Villa. But Brentford are losing, which is good for Villa. Let's go on in the second half, and uh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, he's missed it. <laughs> Great atmosphere. Yes. Yeah. Three nil. Game over. Oh, he's offside. Oh, okay. Maybe not game over. Oh, it's a... 55 minutes in. It's a lot better play from Coventry. They've been a lot better in the second half. Matty Gollum with the word there. Jokowicz. Just about offside. <laughs> Some joy, potentially getting playoffs, potentially getting votes to the Premier League. Will they do it? Probably not if they get playoffs. I don't think. I think Luton and Middlesbrough will probably get in there, but it's promising. Okay, so the game's finished. We've got one pitch invader, one single arm. Time 2 0 Coventry. Sunderland did score in the last minute for Coventry, uh, which means that they're not guaranteed playoffs. But if they get a point against Middlesbrough, Cobb will get playoffs guaranteed. Um, the game in overall was all right. I think in the second half, Coventry really just controlled the game and made sure Birmingham didn't score. But Birmingham had a couple of individual decent players, but who really cares? Coventry are pretty much guaranteed playoffs now. The atmosphere from the Coventry fans were great as usual. Birmingham fans weren't very loud, but there we go. Um, if you guys enjoyed, like the video. Coventry fans, Birmingham fans, I don't know if you guys are going to like it very much, but like the video, subscribe if you guys are new, and follow me on Instagram. Um, and uh, yeah, it was a good day out overall. Great result for Coventry. Hope you guys enjoyed. And um, I'm going to Old Trafford tomorrow. So yeah, see you then.